hello welcome to my channel how are you all doing is today your first time seeing this channel you're welcome and today's tutorial is going to be all about this bag this beautiful bag you're seeing right now this bike is made with Ankara material and the back handle is leather. You can choose to use leather material to do all of the back or you can use Ankara like I use or fabric of your choice. Um, I will be showing you how to make them step by step. And the bag has inner pocket but unfortunately I'm, going, I'm not going to put the details on that. So let's get started. You need your long zip, your fabric of your choice your tip rule for measurement, your cuff rule, your scissors, yeah. So the measurement taken here is 24 by uh, 15 inches. The same measurement apply with the lining. You're going to fold it into two, like you see me doing, and make sure you iron it so the material will stay one place. And you're going to pin it for, for to secure the bolt lining and the main pieces together if you're working with uh, uh, soft material yes so you're going to fold it like this like you see me doing again fold it again like that and then you iron it so it will lay flat if it's Ankara material or any soft material iron it so it will stay flat so once you're done you're going to take all your marking from the opening edge, not from the fold. Don't forget that. Take it from the opening edge. You mark two inches downward like that. You mark two inches upward. So you're going to make a square box right there. You connect it out like you see me doing. After you have done, you cut it out. Cut that square post out. Once you have done square out, you're going to use your free hand or you can use your cuff ruler to cuff it out. I'm going to use my cuff ruler so that you can see, so, so the line will be visible for you to see what I'm doing. Or rather, you can use your square hand, your free hand. I mean, use your free hand if anyone that is okay for you. Like you see me doing. You're going to cut it out. Cut that shape out to make your back pattern. So your back pattern is ready. So I'm using a, a weaving interfacing. Because I want it thick and at the same time soft. You can choose to use the other uh, interfaces, the hard one, but um, I'm going to use this one. I'm using this one rather. So here is the, the inner pocket uh, uh, pieces, but it's not going to be well detailed. I promise I'm going to make a detailed tutorial on that. To show you how you can attach inner pocket to your handbag. But on here, I want to make this video as quick and easy for you to understand the step. Because the bag is not necessarily need a, doesn't need a inner pocket. You can decide to add inner pocket. You can decide not to. But uh, I want a statement on the bag. In the bag, I mean. So, yeah. Uh, okay. So here, I'm going to draw a, a, a straight line from the middle of that where I saw so i can cut it out so when i'm going to attach my zip that is where my zip opening is going to be after you're done you take it out this will happen if you decide to add inner pocket to your pattern but if you don't want to add inner pocket it's as quick as you can see so you what I'm doing here, I'm trying to add um, a hemi gum to iron it, iron the zip down so that when I'm going to take it to a sewing machine, it's not going to move around. It's going to stay in uh, one place. It will not disturb me. So that is the whole trick about it. So 
So after you're done sewing your inner pocket, you head to the te a table, cutting table. You mark down 24 by 3.5 inches wide for your back handle. I've already done the first, uh, the, the first handle. This is the second one. So now I'm showing you how to go about it. You are going to fold it like you see me doing. And you pin it down. Make sure you pin all of it down so that it, it will not move around when you are trying to sew it. Most especially if it's leather material. So you are going to sew it like that. We saw the other side like you see me doing. So that when you finish, you you, you see your back, your back handle will look uh, uh, very clean and uh, nice. Like you see, see? what i'm saying so you are going to mark down 19 inches i'm i first of all mark i measure 24 inches but when i when I, uh, I i was done it was too long so i have to reduce it so find the midpoint of your back from just uh, your midpoint that is where you are going to um uh, fix your back you take all the the how wide you want it to be and how deep you want it to be your your back handle to be so you do that so from the midpoint i mark 2.5 inches outward and three inches inward like you see me doing and you pin it down to secure your back you do the same thing 2.5 uh, outward from the other side like you see me doing and then you uh, say three uh, three inches inward and you place the second hand of the back there and make sure you pin it down so that by the time you're taking it to the sewing machine it will not be moving around so you are going to mark one inches from that where you see me doing mark one inches you're going to sew one inches make a square bust right right there to secure your back handle You're going to repeat the same step, uh, the same step for all your back handle. Make sure you secure them down. You mark one inches and you sew for both uh, one inches, one inches, like you see me doing. And you're going to sew. You take your time on here. Don't rush it. It's not something you rush. Take your time to get a clean finish result. So this piece is uh it's it's a design that I choose. You can choose to use this design or you can choose to use an a either circle, half circle or full circle or um whichever design that comes your mind to use, you can use it. So uh like you see me doing, you are going to use that to cover up uh, the rough edges from the 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 the, the handle. So you do that for all the handles, like you see me doing. So my back is, the handle is all well placed and secure. So the lining, the inner pocket, uh, I will be, Closing up the inner pocket, just like you see me doing. I'm going to sew up the upper side, both this the the both side to secure the the back, the inner pocket.
after you're done sewing it you are going to uh, get your zip and your lining like you see me doing you're going to pin down your zip at the same time you're going to pin down your your lining just like you see me doing please wash carefully on this part this is the tricky part wash careful make sure everything mashed together just the way you cut it so as you're pinning down your zip you're also pinning down your lining at the same time so that when you're going to sew it on the machine everything will lay flat and will be uh, equal just take your time on this here this this here was one of my the difficult part when i was making this back After you're done pinning all down, you're going to repeat the same step from the, the other uh, side of the back, just like you see me doing. Pin down, pin down, pin all of it down like you see me doing. Don't miss any point because the zip I used, the zip was moving around, shooting out. So I have to pin all the zip so close just the way you see me doing and like you see what i'm doing make sure you align everything back equally before you head to the sewing machine when you are finished when you are done pinning down then you sew in your lining and your zip with your main fabric together just like you see me doing Take your time, don't rush it. You are going to repeat the same step for the other side. I have already done sewing the other side off camera. So this is the last part. so we are coming to the end of this tutorial i i hope you learned something new from this and please if you do don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're done sewing you're going to turn it out just like you see me doing like that you turn it out this way like you see me doing you're going to zip it just pay attention here you zip it out close i mean you zip it close when you you done you carefully arrange it like that arrange it together you match it together i've already saw the other side so do the same for the other side you match it together down like that and then you're going to sew it with 0 0.5 inches always sew with 0 0.5 inches and make sure you backstitch more backstitch more there and when you get to the zip also backstitch more on the zip so that you your and now your back is ready and this is the finished look okay please if you enjoy this video and if you learn something new from this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification to get notified each time i post a sewing tutorial like this and also a clue as well so yeah thank you for watching i will be seeing you on another sewing tutorial again have a nice day. Bye.